Hello and welcome to a special Bosses Day edition of Trapper's Trivia. It's been a while, so uh, welcome back. We have two bosses in studio ready to take the test. Mr. Mark Bass, there he is, and Chuck Archer. <laughs> Very excited. Running the camera, by the way, our videographer, this guy right here, Ted Schubel, yeah. who could be an answer to uh, one of these questions. We're going to find out who knows us best. It could be boss number one. It could be boss number two. It could be you. You guys can uh, play along as well. All these questions are about your air staff. D. Daniels, Ted Schubel, Krista Nash, myself, Bill Carroll. Those are the possible answers to all eight of these questions. And we do have a fabulous prize for the boss who gets the most right. Fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, about the prize. Is it Kate 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 Question number one. All of these questions were answered by all five of our on-air personalities. Your job is to figure out who answered with the answer I'm going to give you. The most unusual job I've had outside of radio was somebody answered with golf caddy. Who was a golf caddy before getting into radio? Trapper. I right, didn't Mark's think it would be Trapper because he loves golf, but I think it was I think it was Ted. I think it was Theodore. Chuck's in with Theodore. Mark's in with myself. The golf caddy in our staff. Mr. Ted Schubel. <laughs> he was, oh he was right. once a golf caddy. Uh, he was a good one, too. <laughs> Who do you think was a fried chicken distributor? That was another answer I got. Oh, fried, fried chicken fried distributor. Chicken distributor. <laughs> I don't know wow. why they ever gave that up to get into radio, but they did. <laughs> I mean, that's what I always wanted to do before I got into radio, so. Uh, Kristen Nash. That is correct. Kristen Nash was a fried chicken distributor. But uh, Ted was the answer to that one, so you're on the board, Chuck. One for Chuck, zero for Mark. Question number two. The first concert I went to was... I thought I just got one. That was just a uh, little add-on to the first question. The real answer was... <laughs> hey, fine, fine. <laughs> Somebody needs to lay these rules out I'm for the judge, me, okay? and, uh, the judge Wow. Is, uh, no, the rules are just fine. fine. Tough concert. Uh, yeah, they're good. The rules Jeez. are good. Oh, right. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. The first concert <laughs> I went to was... Michael Bolton. My Ooh. first concert. Included a lot of hair. I saw Michael Bolton. That would be Kristen Nash. I would have to go Kristen, too. We have two Kristens for Michael Bolton. Kristen Nash, first concert, she said, Grateful Dead. That was her first okay, show. Yeah, I know, yeah. The uh, personality that saw Michael Bolton, the first concert they'd ever went to, Oh. D. Daniel. It's got to be D. Daniel. Got to be D. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Already yeah. pictured yeah, yeah. at a, a Michael Bolton concert. That and I have a little question for Ted. Like I say, everybody answered these questions. At least answered most of these questions. Ted left this one blank. I did you not go to a concert? Ever go to a concert? Or? I didn't go to many. Well, who was your first concert? I, I couldn't remember. That's why I left it blank. <laughs> Okay, all right, fine. Well, the Glenn Miller band, but, yeah. you know, that was, ooh, that was ooh, a lot ooh, of the ooh, time. Glenn Miller band, oh my God. <laughs> Glenn Miller and his orchestra. All right, so nobody got that. All right, so Chuck, you're still in the lead with one. My nickname in high school was Ozone. My nickname in high school was Ozone. I'm going with Kristen Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be popular just for most yeah, of us. I, I'm going with Kristen on that one as well, and we agree. Krista Nash, she didn't have a nickname in high school. She did answer this question. Her nickname was Ike. Her nickname was Ike. I don't know why it was Ike. I didn't get an explanation. The uh, on-air personality of the nickname Ozone in high school would be this you? guy. You? Would be this guy, yes. Why? Yeah, That's why? a great question, and there seems to be a lot of different uh, answers to that question. Yeah. Nobody can really remember. Some of the answers are more flattering than others, but uh, <laughs> that, was my, that was my nickname. <laughs> In high school, I thought Ted's it would answer be, was shoes. Did you wear a lot of shoes. hair products you know, when you shoes. were? Shoes. <laughs> my my nickname in high school was Mr. Bass. They called me Mr. Bass. Mr. Bass. <laughs> <laughs> as, as like an eight-year-old, you're called Mr. Bass. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. All right. So you guys are doing really well. So right. yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. questions yeah. down. Six we'll possible speak, correct like answers. Like and we got one. We all, oh. All right. Question number four. If I had to pick a word that starts with a P. A P as in Peter. To describe our boss, it would be blank. And uh, I had them describe you, Chuck, with this question. So they're saying this is how they would describe Chuck using the letter P. Who said pompous? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody went with pompous. Nobody went with prickly. But somebody did say prince of the khaki pants. I, I think D. this is an easy one. S that's that's got to be D, right? 
Yeah. Prince of the Khaki Pants, the on-air personality that described Chuck that way, would be... D. Daniels. Yeah, well, D. Daniels. Hey. Oh, yeah, I got the, to it. Playing the part. On today, yes, I am representing. All right, question number five. The most famous person I ever met was Sylvester Stallone. Oh, hey. Who met Sylvester Stallone? Ted, D, Kristen, myself, Bill Carroll? I'd say Bill. Going to go with Bill. Yeah, I would go with Bill. I think, I think he only went with Bill because I did. That's all. Not only because he said it last. Oh, right. The on air personality who uh, met Sylvester Stallone, Sly Stallone, met Rocky Balboa, would be Bill Carroll. Yeah. Bill yeah. Carroll. Yeah. Bill the Carroll. other answer to that one, uh, Ted Schubel met uh, Joe Gibbs. Krista Nash, she uh, went with Jack Wagner as her. <laughs> what the man says, it's going to be hot today. I actually know that song. Jack He's Wagner a, from uh, the General Hospital. Opera, so, yeah, General, General Hospital. Hospital, and he had a, he had a music career too. Who was the guy? Who did you say? Joe Gibbs, the Redskins coach. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, Joe, Joe Gibbs. <laughs> Ted doesn't get out much. No, he doesn't. I went with Steven Tyler, and uh, oh. D meant Amy Grant. Amy, Amy Grant. Grant. <laughs> All right. So you guys both got that one right. So that's yeah, and neither one of them exploded. Yeah. Do, you, do you know who? I just, just wonder who knows who Jack Wagner is because that's that is not. From General Hospital, that's all that's, I know. Yeah, and, then, yeah. That's, yeah, and I would only know that because Kristen explained it to me. Like, who that's who Jack Wagner is. I'm probably one of the few that knows he had a music career. All right, Chuck, you're in the lead, three to two. You might be surprised, but I once blanked. I posed that question to everybody, and uh, this was one of the answers. You might be surprised, but I once dressed as a woman in my mother's clothing for Halloween. Dressed as a woman using my mother's clothes for Halloween. Who answered with that. D. <laughs> That's a good one, but I'm gonna go Trapper. Trapper? Nobody picked you, Ted. Aren't you happy? <laughs> yes. All right. You might be surprised, but I once dressed as a woman in my mother's clothes for Halloween. That was Bill Carroll. Bill Carroll. Bill Carroll. And what Bill wants to do in his spare time is none of our business, right? He wants to dress up any way you want to, Bill. Right? All right, two more to go. Halloween two more to go. Halloween's just a few days away. Yeah, yeah. Have fun this year, Bill. Don't wear that under the office. That's right. I had a poster of blank up in my bedroom as a kid. So that was the question. Who answered with Farrah Fawcett? I had a poster of Farrah Fawcett up in my bedroom as a kid. That'd be D. <laughs> He answers confidently. <laughs> Chuck? Oh, it's going to be Ted. Chuck's going with Ted. Yeah. Mark's going with D, the on air personality who had a poster of Farrah Fawcett up in their bedroom as a kid. You're pointing I, at me? I'm you guessing, think it's me? I'm guessing you. It's actually Kristen Nash. Oh, Kristen, Kristen Nash. Nash. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of unusual. Yeah. D had a poster of Alf. Oh, up in her yeah. Alf. Love Alf. Okay. I'm surprised uh, it wasn't the Golden Girls. Bill went with uh, one, right? yeah. Kate Golden Jackson. Girl. Kate Jackson. Yeah. Okay. We had to look up. She was in uh, Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels. Thank you very much. Along with Farrah Fawcett, I think. And uh, Ted and uh, myself answered with Dr. J, basketball player. All right. So yeah. you guys both got that wrong. Thanks. Doing very well. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are doing better. Final question. If I took my first pet's name and my mom's maiden name, my radio name would be blank. So first pet's name, mother's maiden name. Whose radio name would be Rosie Ferguson? Rosie Ferguson. Would that be part of the morning show, middays, afternoons, or would that be the night guy? Rosie Ferguson. I'm going to go with um, D on this one. All right. Bill Carroll. Chuck's going with Bill. Mark's going with D. Rosie Ferguson would be the name of your nighttime host. Bill, Bill Carroll. Carroll. Bill Carroll would be Rosie Woo Ferguson. Well, um, was that the win it all question? That's, that was, that's, that's all I want to know. Thanks. You were, you were leading going into the win it all question, and you're leading coming out of the win it all yes, question. Yes, Here's yes. your entire air stuff, by the way. Uh, D. Rambo. Busby? Busby? <laughs> okay. I need to question her. It's like, is her mother's maiden name really Busby? That seems just too good to be true. Uh, Ted would be Bonnie Barnell. Mm -hmm. Barnell. We'd have Lady Fox. 
on middays. That's Kristen's Lady uh, Fox. Lady Fox. That's, that's a pretty good, good one. Wow. And uh, Audi Zach Clark. Zach Clark. Getting you home in the afternoons. Zach so, Clark? So, Zach Clark. So what was yours? Name. What was your... Uh, Zach Clark? Zach, Zach Clark. Clark. I like that. That's Mine was, that actually works. Mine was Snowball Craft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, well. So what was it again? And I'll tell you what mine was. First pet. First pet's name and your mother's maiden name. <laughs> I've done this before. Pooch Baker. Pooch Baker. Pooch Baker. Yeah. Yeah. Pooch Baker. <laughs> it's like somebody wanted to vote for Pooch Baker. I can hear that now. Pooch Baker. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks. Happy Boss's Day. Yeah, thanks. Thank Chuck, you. by the way, the winner. Thanks. Who gets? Yay. We took a lot of time. We put this together. <laughs> and bestest boss ever. Bestest boss ever. You Ooh. get that to hang on the wall. And a mint. Yay! Yes, yeah. There you go.